There's been something on my mind that I've wanted to go over with you for quite a while now, and it's located right here at the very top. See that? Hi everyone and welcome to Pal the Tech. This is not a lens review today. Instead, I want to talk to you about this lens and about why I have not done a review of this lens as of yet on this channel. I have had this lens in the studio since mid-November. Check out this email that I wrote to Viltrox shortly after I received the lens. And in it, I specifically asked them what date I could publish the video and if they had any idea when it could go live and whether or not they wanted me to mention whether this is a pre-production or a final release model. That's about the only question I will ask a vendor about their product before I review it. And I think it's only fair to mention on camera if a product you are reviewing is a final version or a pre-release. Now, the information that I received back from Viltrox told me that this was, in fact, a final release lens ready for review, except that it had not been reviewed yet, right? I was one of the only few people that actually had a copy of this lens. This is not my first rodeo conducting a lens review for Viltrox. I have reviewed all four of their lenses in prior videos. The 85 millimeter, the 56 millimeter, the 33 millimeter, and the 23 millimeter. And now I have the 13 millimeter right here. And I'm starting to see this lens reviewed and mentioned and discussed on a number of YouTube channels. Shortly after I received this lens, I wrote to Viltrox again and I said basically, when can I review the lens? They told me it can be published sometime in mid-December. So I waited until mid-December. I shot an unboxing video of it. I went out and tested it. I shot a bunch of B-roll with it, right? But I didn't mention it. I didn't do a review on it. I didn't do a preview or a guess what I got to review. I didn't do any of that stuff. So mid-December came and I wrote to Viltrox and said, okay, it's mid-December. When can I get this review out there? And they wrote back to me and said, we're not sure, we're getting close, we'll let you know. In the meantime, I'm starting to see other YouTubers publish reviews on this lens. So again, I wrote to Viltrox. We're now about three quarters of the way through December. And I said, hey, any idea when this can come out? There's already videos out on about it. And they wrote back and said, nope, not till January of 2022. So I didn't do a review on this. So as soon as we entered 2022, I wrote another and final email to Viltrox where they said, yeah, it was released internationally on January 3rd, but don't do a review yet. It's not ready to be announced in the United States yet. And so that's where we stand. The reason I made this video is because I have been getting so many questions on this lens, why I haven't done a review on it. Some of you keen observers have seen it in the background of my studio. And at some point, I think in one of my videos, I kind of nodded that eventually a review would be coming, but I've never talked about the performance of this lens or what I think of it, and I'm not gonna do it today. And I don't care if I'm gonna lose out on views, on you know traffic through YouTube. They asked me not to do it, so I'm not gonna do it. I like to have good relationships with various vendors and companies. I am so looking forward to telling you about this lens. And yeah, you'll probably see other YouTubers with review videos out there. But unless Viltrox told them it was okay to make a review video, they're just going ahead and doing it anyway. Viltrox, if you're listening, let me know the second it's okay for me to release a review on this lens. I am not gonna contact you anymore about it, okay? And to the rest of you, thank you for listening. I had to get this off my chest. I have been staring at this lens across my studio for weeks. I talked about it with my Patreon backstage members. They're already aware of how I feel about it, but I felt it was necessary to share it with everyone today because I keep getting questions about it. So I'm just gonna direct all my questions to this video. Now you know why there's not yet a review of this lens, but also know that I cannot wait to tell you what I think of it, but I will only do so when it's the right thing to do and when Viltrox says it's okay to release it. Anyhow, thank you so much for letting me go on about this and I will see you in another video very soon. Take care.